Uh, crossover time. Yeah, that's oh, what it is. Yeah. 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 Boy. Uh, uh, hey. Uh, no, seriously, it's, I'm worried about everything, Dibs. <laughs> <laughs> what you got on my pg and Boy. Oh, gosh. Dude, I'm worried for you. Yeah. Yeah. This wasn't our best work. No. I love I, you, Stiney. Speak for yourself. <laughs> I thought you guys were great today. Thank oh, you. What about his hip hop knowledge? Yeah, when you when you referred to De La Soul as if they were De La Salle, oh. like when you when you yeah. just rolled right wow. over the law and you call, you like you wanted him to know mm -hmm. that you knew uh, like uh, any musical group that had yeah. some flavor, yeah. and you're like, yeah, De, De La Soul. De La Soul. Like, it's not, not De La Soul. It's De La Soul. De, De La Soul. De La Soul. Lead singer, Bob Lattiser. Yeah. He wrote all the Boy. lyrics. <laughs> Me, but, myself, but, and MJD. Oh, no, but, oh, you, but, but you can do no wrong today, because you sang. You know the deal. Twice, when Willard. you sing... The world is oh, happy. Oh, boy. That's it. it. He's blushing. Actually, right? yeah. stop it. Somebody called and said, Guru, your ears still bleeding. Oh, yeah, they, we did hear that one. <laughs> what, uh, was the, what was the song you sang about no, the Yankees Willard, closer? No. no, the Yankees closer. No, Dreamweaver. Dreamweaver. Dream I, I, right. I was giving you a four as I was trying to go in and uh, go to the uh, Moraga Library, and I heard you, and you were like... <laughs> it was really good. Oh, God. Really good. And you, you, you missed a couple of notes, but of the course. fact... The fact that I knew the song made me feel no, as old as you, yeah. and that made me feel good. Yeah, they miss the notes on purpose, which is what you should do. Well, Just miss wow. them. Nobody knows what they're saying in songs. Wow. Nobody. <laughs> when you say when you started singing "California Love," I almost parked. Yeah. I, I'm like, I'm oh, not I driving. missed that one. Yeah, he, no, started, he, missed that. he started doing Pac. Yeah. I was Pac said, uh, from Oakland to Sacktown. Yeah. We were doing the, the Bay Area. Backdown. Yeah. Yeah. Backdown. Yeah. Yeah. Give me love. <laughs> yes. I, I needed to pull oh, over. I'm like, I'm not trying to drive kid. while Stein is singing Pac. Racist, we're not down. doing this. You know, he had to squeeze Sacramento in there. Look at him, he please. couldn't think of it, but he yeah. finally got it in there. Sack. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. What's, what's up, up, guys? Well, you got big tell you what's up. Oh, I've been waiting. Day. Okay. And Willard, if it sounds like I, I stole your verbiage, I did not. Mm. I missed it yesterday in you real time. It. I had wedding it. rehearsal. My buddy's getting married. I'm in it. So we had wedding rehearsal. Woo. This morning, it's just me and the caddy. Me, myself, and Goo. And I turned on the Greg De La Cosell, the Greg Cosell interview, <laughs> and that was the greatest bounce back thing I've ever seen. Thank you. You've stolen everything that I wanted to. You had him flummoxed. He couldn't. And then he said, that's a good boy. You bounced <laughs> back, Dibs. I don't know what to yeah, say. Yeah, thank you. I mean, it was, it was one of those. Yeah, it was. It was, it was tough. Was. It, was. It, it was tough on your boy I, last week. And, you know, our boss, Matt Mahigan, <laughs> you know, Rest in place, and he uh, he actually hit us with uh, the rejoin, and everyone laughed. And I've never seen Steiny so happy. <laughs> and then this week it comes back again, and your boy is like fighting from a uh, you know a two I score was deficit. Too Willard, I was worried this, early. You guys should have seen the build up to this. I I knew that this connected with people last week. I didn't know this. Like we're talking about, I'm like, ooh, we got some good conversation. Yeah. I got points to make, and the text line is just like, "When's Cosell? When's Cosell? <laughs> is Dibs okay? Dibs, you were on What's it. it? We're yeah. People were counting down to Cosell, and then you should have seen the dang thing during the interview. He won. People were I'm celebrating, you, baby. Thank I you. I think Duke. there were block parties yeah. that broke out in the East Bay. He was speechless. He's on the receivers getting separation, or who's the best? It's amazing. Yeah. That's yeah. a problem. Yeah. He didn't have an answer. One guy's getting thirty million. Right, uh, that should be the best. I think that the Niners have the answer, and uh, hopefully that will be confirmed here in about five minutes when Kyle speaks. But uh oh, Pearsall, uh -oh. yeah, wow, there's wow. your answer. I tell you what, yeah, though. could you uh, imagine? Well, um, yeah, well, sure, sure, yeah. I can no, imagine just him coming out there after which. I mean, this Good is not God. this is not Willis Reed though. Yeah. Like, I if this happens, great. If that's the game it actually plan, might be oh, Willis no, right, Reed no, because I mean, if yeah. you remember Willis Reed and, and Steiny's a big sure. proponent of the Willis Reed sure. ideology. He made one basket. I know. Yeah, plenty. Right. So yeah. This yeah. actually probably have one catch. So this actually <laughs> might be Willis yeah, Reed. It might be. Yeah. I think he had two. He yeah. did. He had four points. He had four. But he left early. I hate to do that. No, he what? did. He had yeah. four. Were there a couple and free this, throws? And this is not the MTV Rock that's and great. Jock where there was a four-point shot. That's, yeah. That's, yeah. He, he, yeah. He but the two. lack of separation is that we – like, that's bothering me. Like, it, oh, you're going to lose sleep? But what is it? Maybe that is why Purdy's holding the rock longer. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, Let's see it. 
Is Brandon Ayuk actually not separating? Because there's also analytics that he's separating. Oh, okay. See, I had I don't, I don't, playoffs. you know what I mean? Like, we had Acho on earlier, and he said he did a video of Ayuk not, uh, not Acho, getting open. You're not getting open. So, I, mean, you I find, took that for. You could find a handful right, of plays right. to tell you anything, I would guess. But, um, you know, look, this, this, this is a different matchup when it comes to that. There, Sneed is one of the best man corners in the NFL. It's yeah. not on the Chiefs anymore. No doubt. McDuffie's the only one You know left. what I mean? Um, what did, tell the people real quick what you, Stiney and Dibs weren't in here. I don't know what they're doing. Uh, they're what you asked me together. about uh, the Jimmy Niners and the Purdy Niners. Okay, yeah. And Stiney, you can answer this too. All right, I'll try. Yeah, he's doing homework. Just homework. try. That's all anybody yeah. ever asks. Just try. <laughs> okay. Do you view the Brock Niners and the Jimmy Niners as a different entity? Yes. Okay. Then, yes, I do. And the Niners and Chiefs have only played once. I, that's what I told you. Uh, Look at him. Oh, I hate it. The Niners and Chiefs. That's Willer. That the, don't mean it's the, Niners, the Niners and Chiefs have only played once. Yep. It was in overtime. Neither of them have ever visited the other person's stadium. Never. None of that has happened. Why is 2019 still here in the building? There's only one reason. It's us. It's no, Andy, the rosters and from each of the Super Bowls. Bowl. I'm so, Dibs take yeah, over. Well, no, no, you, can, you can brock a stay in this conversation all you want, but I the know, reality well. is that the two franchises have played four straight times. The wow. two coaches have played four straight times. There you go. And one team has won more than the other. So you can <laughs> you can lean on Brock and say, well, Brock's only lost one time to Casey and Mahomes. Correct. And, and you know what? If it wasn't for that darn right guard, they would have won that game. No, I'm not even getting into that. They lost, but it was a very right. close game, and it was one game. But what about and the coaches, though? What about the, the coaches? They're the leader. What about the sport? coordinators? What about the make fights. Not, not if Jimmy Garoppolo is your quarterback. I can give you a good coach. But you were all Jimmy. You were like, Jimmy, 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 can't you we've, see? We've already been you over were, that. But yeah. We've already been over that. Willard, like, Willard, what's the Willard, difference? The way, you were so in on Jimmy as you are in on Brock Purdy. No, no. First of all, you were equally in on Jimmy as you are on Brock. I sat <laughs> here and supported the idea of drafting a quarterback to replace mm, Jimmy. Mm. I did that. Even though I was in on Jimmy because Jimmy still deserves some freaking respect no, for what no, he did I, here. Exactly. But he's not Brock. He's not even close. But where is peak Jimmy compared to where mm, Brock is now? Like how close. much? How much worse is he? A lot. Like fifty percent worse. I don't, I don't know how he to put got you the Super Bowl. He's got you to the same heights though, it, Jimmy. Exactly. Like, NFC Championship. He got you the same lead yeah, in the no Super Bowl as Brock. And There's so some parallels. Is Jared Goff, and we can do this for a bunch. Yeah. So is Jalen Hurts, and so is Joe Burrow. You're too quick to put a dirt on the casket of Jimmy Garoppolo. No, I'm not. I think Brock's as it better. pertains to this matchup. Brock's better. I Brock have is eyes. better. I have a brain. But, but they easy. All, he we're also lost to the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. But great. So for you to say that this is different than that. I didn't is, say it's different. I'm, I'm you didn't even hear me. What I no, said I is did. They, they played once. Exactly. So they this is not once. a streak. They played once. Well, it's like when you say I'm hot when you get one pick right. You're not hot. That's, that's, actually, great actually, great actually, that's a terrible really analogy. Because oh, you have boy. one pick right. The Chiefs, oh, are, the Chiefs are going in without <laughs> Pacheco. So we can't you know look at this matchup because no. they don't have Pacheco. No, so different. we can't oh we can't talk about that because right. these teams are different. I can tell you need to calm down. No, yeah, I need to calm down. Let me uh, let me I'm just yeah. calm the straight up. Let me just affirm a few things here. Uh, I'm just looking at the offense. The twenty twenty Super Bowl, Garoppolo not here, Tevin Coleman not here. Uh, <laughs> Justin School was it Justin or Jason? Justin, uh, Layton yeah, Tomlinson, yeah. Weston Richburg, uh, Chuck Person, mm. uh, Mike McGlinchey. None of them are here anymore. Buckner not here. Armstead wasn't uh, he was, but DJ Jones, uh, yes sir. Quan Alexander, mm. Sherman Mosley, okay, Tart, the whole defensive yeah. secondary different. Sure, yeah, there's a new team. Yeah. Nope. Well, and this team is different than the Super Bowl team. So why don't you look at the Super Bowl team from last year and look at I that team? Is. I didn't do that. It you is. Know, but that, to me, is more appropriate both, than both. going back four years because you don't have well, then. Hufanga. He's not here. And Armstead, he's not here. And Chase Young, he's not here. Well, and by the way, Chase Young you, wrecked then, the game. Thank so. you for making my point. Yeah, now you're yeah, arguing that it. they have not played at all. Well, nobody's played at all. Okay. There you go. 
Great. So then what do we? What's the PTSD about? The PTSD is about the coordinator Fun. and the coach no, and versus the coach and the down. coordinator. No, I'm with that. And Hallelujah. Their coordinator <laughs> has given you problems, and yeah. defenses like this have no given one, you problems. That's that? the point. No one's arguing. And your main that. guys are no, still that's here. That's the point. Arguing. It's not I'm not the arguing point. it. That's the point. What, what is the point? The point is the Niners can't beat this guy. The point is the Niners can beat them. Okay. But if you're going to you. talk about past performances. Man. Then you can only talk about the people who are still here who are not. No, there's a, but neither team is as good as they were in February. Well, neither I would argue them. that Kansas City is as good as they were in February. They haven't lost not. since. So that, but that has nothing to do with it. That's <sighs> regular season games. They do not have right. Sneed. They do not have Rasheed Rice. They do not Doesn't have Isaiah. matter. Yes, it does. They found the way to win without those people, and the, the Niners have gacked away oh, a game against it. the Rams. Just stop that. And now. gacked you away against like Arizona. You're telling the you truth. No, I don't like that term. I didn't say choked. No, but I don't like either of them. But you watch it's football. It's a fact. Hey. You, you sit here with a notepad that you brought in because right. you watch it twice. You know damn well, just because they're 5-0 and oh, my does bit. not mean they're as good. They don't look as good. Neither of these teams do. They don't have to be as good. Well, that's right. All you have to do is win the game. Yeah, but that's that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about assessing a game that hasn't happened yet. Right. So and, there is projection. There is analysis. There is all of these things, and they're all relevant. They're all completely in the room. Yes, Kyle Shanahan has had a hard time with Steve Spagnolo. Although Steve Spagnolo has not been the Chiefs defensive coordinator forever, that's not been a thing. So you can bring that into the room, but to sit here and do the, while well, the Niners haven't beaten the Chiefs in eight straight times, it's irrelevant. It's four. Whatever it is, it's irrelevant. It's all irrelevant. So why do we even look at anything other than what's going to happen on Sunday? And even if we look at what's going to happen on Sunday, none of that matters because you don't know how anybody's going to well, play course, or how you, anyone's going to perform. So You would have answered my question the same way they both did. Do you view Brock's Niners as a different entity than Jimmy's? Well, sure. Okay. But what are Brock's Niners? What Do are Brock's they? Niners they... have Dre Greenlaw? No. no. Do they have Jawan Jennings? Just, Maybe not. Why I just Do they said. have Christian McCaffrey? They're no. lesser. They're so lesser. Brock's Niners and Jimmy's Niners, you have to look at exactly what that was when they played. And so if you want to like really parse it out, none of it matters. Like If you want to compare that game to this game, each roster is different from February till now. And so, like, each player is in a different spot. Each player is more healthy or less healthy. Right, so, right. what These are we are the, doing? We're if doing wanna, the quarterbacks. If you get into it. We're doing yeah, the quarterbacks because that's what we do. And, and, and if you want to play that game, then no one gets to come in Monday and be like, Pat won and Brock didn't, or Brock won and Pat didn't. Oh, we, we all have to do go, that. Well, the offensive line was this, that. Of course. Other. Yeah, so of course it's relevant. Time for the legal. Okay. You're listening to 95.7 The Game, KGMZ FM and HD1 San Francisco, always live on the free Odyssey app, Twitch and YouTube, powered by First NorCal Credit Union. What's bugging you? It's coming up right now. Got spiders. At Pest Control is here to help. <laughs> they specialize in eradicating those eight-legged intruders with precision and care. Don't let spiders take over. Go to atgopestcontrol.com, and you know what you're going to do then? Reclaim your space. I'll start. I like Why the game. hell do they call it the Willis Reed game oh, when he sorry. played 11 minutes? I'm, when he, I'm sorry, he played 27. Yeah. When he only made two baskets, and Walt Frazier in that game had 36 points and 19 assists. Why do they call I'm it the Willis Reed you, game? Though. You know why. I know. He gets, I mean, it's a bit. All right. Well, first I'm not of all, really bugged. Bit it out. Yeah, you told, you told on yourself yeah. that, you, that you weren't prepared that, for this because you're using something that was just brought up four minutes ago. It was I'm laying in stiny. bed last night, and I can't come up with anything. What a blessing. You're not you're bugged thinking by anything. About but that bed. doesn't work for the bit. Okay. No. Yeah. All right, there That's what you're thinking you about for, in bed? For correcting me, because I thought he had one field goal, but he had two. Yeah, two for five. And, and he played 27 yeah, minutes? Yeah, I didn't realize that either, Dibs. I thought it was more of a cameo. out there, Dibs. You want to talk about the? There. I'm talking to Dibs. You want to talk about the Willis Reed game, <laughs> and we're gonna rip Ayuk. Hey Willis, what are you doing? 27 minutes, and you get two buckets, dude. Get off the court. It was well, on one wheel. Stink. It what, was emotion. What if we take what Dibs just sort of projected? Good God. What if Ricky Pearsall only gets two catches, but and and Brandon gets seven? Which one is more inspirational to you after the game? 
Oh, Pearsall. Well, there you go. Yeah, I mean, so didn't New York yeah. win that game? That's why it's yes. a little And what a game to come back. I know Stein yeah. doesn't care about this. The emotion. The, the, <laughs> the stand and know he's going to get yeah, for winning the game of deafening. life. Ricky Pearsall. I mean, it'll come I mean, right through incredible. those speakers of that sign. That's you know. just sad. You don't believe that. But anyway, you I can't You don't believe it's going to be a zoo. A guy that got shot at point blank range a month to Labor Day? Here's what's going to tell The only thing you can do is Ricky Pearsall. Exactly. Do they you, don't, let me rip that shirt open. Do Nick you have Bosa. a heart? This is incredible. It's bigger than balls. They don't interest the offense Warner. and the defense, Tiny. Well, and the only God. thing that's Wheeler, different, Goo, is for? if he comes on the field in like, okay, now it's third and four and they're right. going to 11 personnel, no one's going to notice. Uh, uh, so it's not the same I as like, the, you know, uh, checking in uh, for the first time. Oh it's it's Willis Reed. If he happens to come on the I field, double even the if he starts on yeah. the field, like, and the Niners go 11 personnel, one uh, running back, one yeah. tight end. Even if he's out there then, no one's going to notice. Uh, well, you guys, I, you said this earlier. Like, you guys know how football games are and where this fan base is at this point. They won't even know it's him. Exactly. What number does he wear? 14. Yeah, you know that now because he <laughs> called you out on the air. You had to look it up. I don't know well, what number. I didn't look it up. I had to think about it. You looked it up. 14. Yeah. Uh, Nobody even, no one's going to know that that's Ricky Pearsall until after he makes the catch. And, oh, well, that, and, okay. Right, right in the right, state right, of right. Ricky Pearsall yeah, on the right. catch. I guess it's too soon. Yeah. What's the problem? He'll be the one in the bulletproof vest. Oh, for crying. Now that, you know he what? He survived. I may not even see you after the show. He survived. That's not stop. Right. I knew that would get us to move along. Dibs, uh, what's bugging you? At uh, no Peskin. Political emails. And I get them from... Well, emails ready. or texts? Uh, emails. I get texts. I get uh, everything you could possibly get in terms of messaging. And for you, the candidate, I'm already going to vote for you. Leave me alone. The more you pester me with, hey, you know, we need a little bit more money in Georgia. I don't live in Georgia. We need a little support in North Carolina. I have never been to North Carolina. I don't give a crap about where you're not doing well. I was going to give you my vote, but I'm about four emails away from switching over and voting against you <laughs> wow. based on principle. No, because you not. know what, Mark? Tell you, no, know you don't know me. No, you're not. You don't know. You I should do know, know me you. well enough to know that I will grudge vote. I because know damn well that you I blocked your primary account, and then your VP candidate hits me, yeah. and I blocked him. And now your campaign email hits me, and I blocked them. And now his campaign email hits me. And you know what? I'm about five emails away from voting for the pumpkin just on principle <laughs> because I know that my vote doesn't matter anyway. No. Knock it off. But is it any worse than the spam calls you get and the, the random text to your phone? They already got your info, different entities. It is, but in my... Email, no, it, it does I not ima- automatically go to spam. When yep. I get, like, calls from clear spam, I don't even get it to ring through. It goes yep. automatically to spam and spam text and all the rest of it. I never see it. And so this is different, and I'm just going to say it. Knock it off. Well, hurry up, November. I can't wait to see yeah, how it plays out. Spoiler alert, they ain't going to knock it off. They ain't gonna gonna off. Gonna they ain't gonna gonna spoiler alert, they're in, oh. they're in trouble. They're in trouble. Okay. Are you looking Goop. at yourself? Yeah, I am actually. Wow. Hey, so um, do you have a good one? Now that bothers me no, because you times should that bother I've done you. This and you said no, to no, yourself, no, no, that I was asked, bad. No, dude. no, I want to save oh, you, you go, for last. Go, oh, you save you for last. It, I don't think it's that good, but no, I'll just. Wow. All right, look, it's Bonnie ahead. James. Oh, Listen, yeah. I love family. I have two sons and a daughter. I love my kids. I love all your kids like they're my kids. Uh, Snotty talked to his daughter on Zoom, called me uncle. I walked in the room, had a great show that day. But listen, it's not about Bronny. It's what he represents to the people in this world that I know some of them that have chosen or have no other choice but to live hoop dreams. They don't have another outlet. Now, you can say, go do something else, broaden your horizon. All they are trying Trying to do is make the league. So for any Yoko Doko out there trying to compare Bronny James getting a professional 
basketball jersey from any league to a, somebody's daddy in corporate who's who's the man giving their son or daughter a position at that corporate entity, you're missing the point. That's not the same as the one percentile that it takes to make these sport leagues. So just watching Hoop Dreams the other day, that's who Bronny took a jersey from. I love LeBron. I love Bronny, but I'm sick of it. And don't give me the corporate people do it all the time because the people that don't get the job in corporate are still living what Kanye said, Willard, the good life. They're going to be okay. But the ones that Bron, Bronny has taken the jersey from, that's all they got, and I hate it. This is a good rant. 95-7 The Game, breaking news. <laughs> Well, I don't 40, know what it is. The 49ers will activate Ricky Pearsall, and he will be a full go wow, for the game against the Chiefs on Sunday. Wow. I will also add that the 49ers will have their third kicker of the year what? on Sunday against the Chiefs. Matthew Wright will go on IR. Stop making tackles. I said stop making tackles. He did. Stop <laughs> making tackles. Anders Carlson who famously missed a kick at Levi Stadium that would have put the Packers probably into the next round Whoa. just last year, is now the 49ers kicker and will kick on just Sunday. Rick Pearsall, we just... Oh, that's but what incredible. if he doesn't play well, no, Mark? But that's what this is coming... You're on we your still third have a kicker? We still have a... Yeah, 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 on Willard. Yeah. We're on your I'm third kicker? I'm getting a kicker? spam call right now. Yeah. Your anyway, third kicker? Take it. Hello? <laughs> uh, your third kicker? <laughs> this, <laughs> this, 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 Your third I'm, kicker? That's just like, a, this season's crazy. You're on your third kicker. Right, right. And here's it's an idea for crazy. the uh, special teams coordinator. In, your, in the meeting, when all, you get the, all the guys together, <laughs> tell your new kicker, hey, uh, if you happen to get into a spot where you need to make a tackle, don't. Right. Knock it off. And Mark and I talked about it the first time. When Moody went in there and like went head first, and then the second time, this is crazy. Where your kicker ran up into the, into the mix and tried to make another play, your special teams should should be so good that you don't need that, but you've needed your kicker to at least kind of like get in the way. Here's an idea, out. Anders. Ugh. If you get in the same spot, <laughs> just Anders. get in the way. If your name's Anders, you're not making a tackle in the NFL. <laughs> Give us your what's bugging you. Dude, act like half the people well, on these sidewalks uh, here in the city and just boy. get in the way. Yeah, wow. Um, it's a cr couple other or things. Or just lay on the sideline. Juwan Jennings well, yeah. is officially out. Oh, no. This oh, game. God. Of course. And I can't. Hold hang. on. Jordan, <laughs> set your lineup. Jordan Mason is officially a full go. Oh, Jordan wow. Jordan Mason big. is okay. not on the injury right. report. So. Um, we'll right. get into all of that. No, Joel. I have a stupid one that I'll get out of the way real quick. I was just thinking about this. I don't really care, but it's kind of a dumb one. But I, I, I'm curious as to why we don't always use the technology we have. Have you ever sat at a stoplight and noticed there's a camera on the light? Okay. The camera can be used to send you a ticket. Okay. But the camera cannot be used when it's like 11 at night and you're in a residential neighborhood and there's nobody for a mile around and we're going to sit here at the red light for two minutes. You can't use the car next to me doesn't have a driver, but we're not going to no. have the technology to be like, dude, flip green. There's no, there's nobody here. I'm not mad. There's nobody here. And I'm sitting here. I did it this morning at a spot where there wasn't even another road coming the other way. It was just a crosswalk in a neighborhood that had no people. And I sat there for a minute and a half and I looked at the stupid camera and I'm like, can you just, can you go green? That's all I wanted to say. Now back to Niners. Go no, no, no. I love it. Real quick, an, an addendum to that. The cameras that will capture you running the red, they are reliant on the municipality also having the people who will take that footage and then issue tickets. And yes. the majority of these cities no longer have that person. Mm -hmm. So it's photo enforced, as they say. Yeah. But for the most part, it's not photo enforced because they take the picture and there's nobody to look at the picture and then go through and type in your uh, VIN number yeah, yeah. and your license plate and send you a ticket. So the photo enforced is much like when you drive on the freeway now and it says this uh, speed limit is enforced by air. And remember back like 30 years ago when I you mean, would actually see CHP in a plane? Yeah. They don't fly planes anymore. Oh, yeah. So it's no longer enforced by the air. And it's much like these traffic lights where, you know, not all of them, 
Different cities have different. If you're at the like, wrong intersection in the wrong hood, Willard, I just I'll you can go. get caught. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, take it too long. No doubt. Yeah, no I got doubt. to get up out of All here. Right. Okay. Great show today, partner. <laughs> Will you please I'm sing? Worried, will man. you sing one more time before you go? Do California oh, Love boy. for the people who didn't um, hear it. See, this is like an out. Yeah. How does it start again? California. Dun, 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 I'd rather do Gary Wright, Dreamweaver. Dreamweaver. <sighs> I can't help you to make it through the night. I gotta go. 95.7 <laughs> again. <laughs>